Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Arcade1Up just announced a brand new product that is a little different from the current offering, the Infinity Game Table. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, no this is not an arcade from Arcade1Up. This is a board game table, a digital board game table. Arcade1Up is saying that this table will have over 50 games included, and will also include things like card games, puzzles, coloring books, and digital comic books. Now let's look at some of the details here. It will come in two different sizes, 24 and 32 inch. It will have tactile feedback, which I'm going to assume is some sort of vibration. You might want to watch any glasses that are sitting on it. Uh, looking as well, it will be online multiplayer via Wi-Fi, which is actually really cool. Looking down the list even more, you can save the game. It will require power. Uh, you can take off the legs to put the tabletop, I guess, on another tabletop. It will come preloaded with a selection of games and it has online connectivity to download more games. Now Arcade1Up already has a teaser trailer posted and I will leave a link to it in the description below and I do recommend checking it out. Taking a quick freeze frame, I can see a bunch of games already on the system. I see classic Hasbro games, Monopoly, Life, Candyland, Scrabble, Trivial Pursuit, Battleship, Shoots and Ladders, Operation, Simon, Hungry Hungry Hippos, Yahtzee, Trouble, Chess, and the Canadian favorite, Sorry. Uh, looking at these games, these are pretty classic. I think most people should be pretty familiar with them. I also noticed that the Monopoly game looks like it's having some frame rate issues. It looks real choppy. I'll just replay it again here and you can see what I'm talking about. The St. James Place really comes up pretty choppy. It looks like it's running, well, I don't know, maybe about 10 frames a second, 15, but I will stay positive and try not to micro analyze it considering how early it probably is in development. Now, overall, I do think this is pretty cool. I don't think it's going to be a substitute for a coffee table in your room considering in the pictures here, they have all the drinks surrounding it and not necessarily on the game itself. And I'm kind of wondering whether or not you can actually have anything sitting on it and how it's going to support multi-touch. I have a few concerns and a few things that I'm really curious about. Now, firstly, with multi-touch, I'm kind of wondering how this table is going to handle uh, all four people with all 10 fingers on that table at once. Is having all 10 fingers on or just other players tapping away on the screen going to throw off the person who actually has to perform a turn? If they're trying to drag a piece and someone's on the other side just tapping away, will that interrupt what they're trying to do? Now, secondly, I'm wondering if reflection is going to be a problem. This is a glass top. And in this picture, you can see there's quite a bit of reflection here. If you have a light hanging over top or maybe off to the side or even sunlight coming in, is that going to interfere with your ability to see what's on the screen? The next thing I'm kind of wondering about is the overall size. So 24 and 32 inches. I think the 24 might be a bit small if you do need it for four players. Looking at the size of her hand here, if she were to extend it and just put it flat out, it's probably going to cover most of the game board. The game board does not look very big in this photo. I don't know if it's a perspective thing, uh, but it doesn't look very big compared to her hand. So it actually might be pretty tough to read some of those squares on there. But then looking at this photo and the perspective looks absolutely fine. So I'm a little thrown off here. The next thing I'm wondering about is privacy. I'm kind of wondering how games like Scrabble and card games will work where you have to protect your cards so your opponents don't see. With a screen like this, uh, that small with players that close together, it might be very difficult. I'm really curious to see how they implement it. And the last thing that I'm kind of wondering about, and this isn't a showstopper by any stretch of the imagination, but it says it plugs into an AC outlet. Now this is essentially a giant monitor or a small TV. So I don't know if they're able to make this run on batteries, but at the same time, if this is in the middle of your dining room or living room or wherever you have it, you're going to have to plug it into the wall. And I don't know how long the cable is in order to do that. You might actually have to run an extension cable, which might be a huge hassle. I mean, with arcade one up machines, you push the machine against the wall, you hide the cable behind the machine or against the baseboards and you never see the cable. With this, it's a little different because the machine is in the middle of the room. 
I don't know if it's going to be a problem or more of a nuisance. It might be a problem to some, might be no problem to others. While I still have a ton of questions about this, we don't even know the price yet, I think this is a great idea from Arcade 1UP. I think this is a perfect product for families looking to have a game night. It's a lot more current than setting up an old Monopoly board where pieces are missing and cards are missing and it takes 20 hours to set up and all it takes is one game flip to ruin the entire game. You can save your game here when maybe people are getting a little upset and resume it later or or not. And I think this is perfect for having friends over. You have friends over, you have a few drinks, you can put this on in the background. If the game's boring, you just quickly boot up another game and you're off to the races. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Infinity Game Table in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's weird? Did I miss something? I'm really curious to see what everyone has to say. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.